Yo, what is up guys, Ultra Balls back with another SPL game. Uh, this is a week 6 ORAS game between Ricardo and Blunder, two really solid players. Uh, this is Blunder's second game of SPL, he signed up at mids. He lost uh, last week in Sun Moon, and so now this week they have him in ORAS. Obviously he's good at both, so I'm uh, interested to see him in this tier. Uh, ORAS is a lot of fun for me to watch, so I'm glad he's playing this. Uh, Ricardo, my uh, GSPL teammate, uh, bring in a the most broken mons. It's actually funny, I was building Oras today and I built a team with the same six mons except for it was a Latios over Latios. Uh, probably Scarf. Uh, that's what I had on mine, like was like Scarf Latios. Uh, and then like I had Pursuit Gross because Pursuit Gross plus Keld's really good. You can Pursuit Lotties. Uh, and then Zone is able to trap Scizors and Pharaohs for the Metagross. So you're really getting the most out of your uh, big hitters uh, in Gross and Caldeo. You're able to get a lot out of them because you trap a lot of their checks, which is, it's, it's a cool concept. I like that team a lot. Um, yeah, so we'll see what the sets are, uh, but those, just like the collection of Mons, I like a lot. Uh, on Blunder's side, probably Banded Weavile rocks on either, on either, um, Tran or Gliscor. Um, Spin Starmie, I guess it could be offensive because he has, like, an Amoongus that could switch into Keldeo, but the thing is, like, a lot of Amoongus in, uh, Oras run more Fizz Def. So that's not like a super good Keldeo check. So uh, like if, if you get some chip on the Amoongus, it gets blown away by Hydro. Like it can't switch into Hydros if it's Fizz Def after a little bit of chip. So it's still probably bulky Spin Starmie, which is the better set anyway. Uh, and then SD Scizor for sure. So with that, we'll hop right in. I think Doc said he might have missed the first couple turns live, so it's going to be fast. So just stay with me. I'm going to try and keep up with the action. Uh, Blunder leads Amoongus on the, the Landers. I think f Spore's a free play for Blunder. Yezzy does go for that, because if Ricardo does go into Amoongus, like, they just kind of sit and stare at each other, so you don't really risk much by clicking uh, Spore there. Uh, and putting the Lando to bed is nice. Uh, double into Gliscor to get your Toxic Orb activated. Double into Spideftran, I'm assuming it's going to be. Uh, get up your rocks, because the Lando hasn't burnt a turn of sleep yet. Yep, yep. Uh, and now we see Protect from Blunder's Heatran, so it's probably Protect, Rocks, Toxic, Lava Plume. Uh, it doesn't really need Taunt on this set because he has um, SD Scizor for Clefable as well as uh, potentially Clear Smog Amoongus. So that's, he's probably not Taunt. Uh, we see Scald. I, Ricardo Scald's twice trying to get the Burn. Uh, I think he was going for Burn because it helps this Metagross beat the Starmie if it's Burned. Um, the thing is now, like this could be Pursuit, but it's not going to... If it is Pursuit, it's going to do about 50-ish, 43, that's a little less than I thought, but yeah, so like, Blunder beats this 1v1, because he just stays in and spams uh, Recover, and then whenever the Met on the turns that Metagross gets paralyzed, then he could just Scald, and he'll just chip down the Gross, so I feel like it's not in Ricardo's best interest to stay in here, um, like, Blunder's play was always to T-Wave there, because like, if you bring uh, Metagross hard in to the Starmie, it screams Pursuit. And there's hardly any Metagross that run T-Punch anymore in Oras. Like, the most common moves that you'll see is, like, uh, Mash, Zen, EQ, like, Pursuit, and Ice Punch are probably, like, the five most common moves, I would say. Um, Bullet Punch probably being, like, sixth. Uh, you could still see, like, Hammer Arm or, um, or T-Punch, but they're just not as common, so... Blunder staying in, predicting per, or like to prevent pursuit was obviously the right play. Uh, I don't agree with Ricardo staying in here for all these turns. I think he should just be going into either Lottie or Amoongus. He finally does go into Amoongus, but not before the Metagross gets severely uh, crippled. There is probably Healing Wish on the Latias though, so it's not the end of the world. Double into Lando on Gliscor. I guess Ricardo could try and burn a turn here. Uh, unless he's afraid of a potential SD. Uh, he does stay in to try and burn the turn as Blunder goes hard Weavile knowing that uh, the Lando is guaranteed to sleep there. Uh, we see Icicle Crash on the Magnazone. Uh, double into Spideftran doing a nice 6. Uh, now Blunder could just throw off a Lava Plume, attempt to burn something. Burn being nice and broken in Oras with a 12%. Um, does he get it? No, he does not. Uh, now, Blunder already showed Protect, right? Okay, I wouldn't have clicked it there if I was Blunder because uh, Ricardo is pretty much forced to stay in that turn because you showed Protect the first time. So I feel like you could have gone hard Starmie there because after Protecting, that gives Ricardo the opportunity of doubling into Magnazone the next turn because he knows you can't Protect again. Um, 
So, we were in the same situation, right? So, I feel like Blunder could just... He should probably just go hard star me now. But he just protects... Like, I understand, too, wanting to keep this healthy. But at the same time, like, I feel like going hard star me is better because it covers... Like, it... Ricardo's not able to double that first turn. Whereas, like, this turn where he just scalded, I feel like he should be doubling into either Amoongus or Magnezone, or even Lottie. But I feel like just, uh, repeatedly scalding the Starmie switch is not really getting him anywhere. Uh, it goes, Gliscor is always free on the Amoongus. Um, Giga Drain doesn't do shit damage, and obviously you avoid the Spore. So we see it as SD Gliscor, which looks like a, like a huge threat. So he's probably just going to throw off an Earthquake here. The Landers can't even, t or just Facade, that's fine too. Um, but as you see, even if Ricardo goes Lando, like, Lando can't even touch, or like, Lando can't touch the Gliscor. Uh, just like Earthquake here, probably. Yeah, because the Keldeo switch... Ricardo kind of had to go Keldeo on a potential SD there, so Earthquake was a good play. Uh, you're really limiting how many times this Keldeo is going to be able to come in. He goes Amoongus, potentially maybe trying to catch a double, because I feel like the Starmie's always just the best play on Keldeo, just because it, uh, because the, the, um, the Starmie takes the burn, uh, because of Natural Cure, whereas, like, Amoongus is going to get whittled. But, like, I get, I think I get why Blunder went Amoongus first, because it would cover a potential double into Magnezone there. Uh, so now we see a uh, Weavile double on the Keldeo, and he's free to click Knock now. Um, Keldeo will die, of course, because it's banded. Uh, and now he's going to go into Amoongus, um, and Blunder could go into uh, Gliscor again, I guess. So if Ricardo wants to predict that, he could go Lottie. Uh, either way, I think Gliscor literally wins, so I don't even, like, I don't think Ricardo could even beat Gliscor. <laughs> like, there's a good chance the Gross doesn't even have Ice Punch, and what he would have to do is Healing Wish the Gross, and bop! Nice play by- that's a d dope play by Blunder, but I don't think he really lost much by staying in and clicking Knock anyway. Like, that was like- it's like one of those good predictions, but it doesn't- like, that's the best time to make a prediction is when it, you don't really lose much if you don't get it right. You know what I mean? Like, worst case, he gets put to bed, or most likely what would happen would he get Giga Drain for like 40 or like 30? to 40 and like that doesn't really change anything you know what i mean so knock is always like was a free play there from blunder anyway uh now that lottie's dead and it can't healing wish the gross uh gliscor wins on its own so he just goes to it now sds and wins it's actually like it's an unkill unkillable mon so uh ricardo says gg he's probably gonna forfeit here like yeah this thing just sds and wins the game so yeah that was a uh, really one-sided i feel like ricardo like he could have tried to make some more doubles but i don't even think they would matter he just couldn't break the starmie uh at all um and that like the idea of like pursuit grows plus keld plus zone is really good and i think in certain matchups it does really well but just blunder had like the answer to each mon so um yeah, there's not really much. I don't think Ricardo could have done much to break that. But you see, the Tyrants had already won this week. So this put him up 9-3. And this was the last game. I think this was the last game played. It was played like sometime late last night. So, yeah. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, Ultra Balls out. Peace.